All languages have patterns in their grammars for expressing the important notion of cause. English has many ways of expressing this notion, but we can only identify three general ways English expresses cause in a sentence. The most common way to express cause in English is with a verb that means basically cause. For example, we can say, I caused him to eat, I made him eat, or I had him eat, and many other ways of getting this idea that I was the cause of him eating. Another way English expresses cause is through verbs that have the notion of cause built into the meaning. For example, the sentence, I fed him, means I caused him to eat. We say that feed is the causative of eat, since feed means cause to eat. Most English verbs, though, have no special causative form. For many verbs like sleep, you just have to use a cause verb phrase like put to sleep to express the cause idea. The third way of expressing cause in English is used with many intransitive verbs. Verbs like walk are causative when they are transitive and non-causative when they are intransitive. For example, I walked is intransitive because it has no direct object and there is no idea of cause involved. But I walked the dog is transitive. The dog is the object. And also it expresses the idea that I caused the dog to walk. Column also has three basic ways of expressing cause in a sentence, but they are all quite different from the ways English does it. In fact, Clallam entirely lacks three methods used by English. Clallam has no verbs like cause or made to make sentences like I made him eat. It has no words like feed with a cause meaning built in. And intransitive verbs can never be used with a cause meaning. Like in English, I walk the dog, Clallam uses suffix on the verb to express cause. The Clallam causative suffix and transitivizers like the T and NU suffix that we've seen in the object pronouns video, the causative suffix are added to an intransitive verb to create a transitive verb, a verb that an object suffix can attach to. It is possible to add only the let causative to a transitive. Otherwise, it isn't possible to add a causative to a word that is already transitive. To say something like, I made him feed the dog, you would have to say it indirectly using the that's why construction that you've seen in the because video. As in, satsin, nish kwaja suishlind saskaha. I told him to, that's why, said the dog. Now we're going to move on to animate causative with the east suffix. The root of the verb in each of these models is ishlin, eat. Ishlin is basically an intransitive verb. For example, ishinsin means I ate, no direct object. When the suffix east is added to ishin, the meaning becomes cause to eat, which is usually translated to feed in English. The east suffix turns an intransitive verb into a transitive verb. Let's listen to the model sentences. You feed me? As least. As least. You uh, folks feed me? At least try. At least try. You feed us? At least don't. At least don't. You folks feed us? At least don't try. At least don't try. I feed you? At least two. At least two. We feed you? At least. At least. I feed all of you? At least and I. At least and I. We feed you folks? At least I. At least I. I feed him? At least and At least and We feed him? At least at least, at least, you feed him. At least, at least, he feeds him. At least, at least. This chart will help make clear the meaning that the east suffix adds. So, eat for eat, 
then you add east suffix and then it becomes ahlanist, feed it or cause to eat. The east suffix takes the stress away from the root that is added to it. When stress is taken away from the root, the formerly stressed root vowel becomes a schwa. So the root ihlen becomes ahlen with east attached. And you can see that in the model sentences also. The object suffixes that allow east suffix are the same as those that appear with the basic T transitive. So here's that chart again. The final X of the raised W of the east suffix drops off when any object suffix is added. It also drops off when the S subject suffix is added. So for example, Ashlanist plus the S suffix becomes Ashlanist. The T as well as the X in the raised W of the East suffix drops off when the C for me or you object suffix is added. For example, Ashlanist with that C suffix becomes Ashlanists. The other occurrence of the S suffix for he, she, it, or they subject with the East causative is very rare. Usually the passive is used instead. The passive of this causative is formed in a way similar to the passive of the regular T transitive, which becomes the suffix for um. So the passive of the passive of Ahlenist is Ahlenistung. The object of the East causative is usually animate. That is, it is usually something that can act on its own. People and animals are animate, of course, but sometimes something like a canoe can be perceived to be animate if it's doing something on its own, like if it's sinking. The East causative adds the meaning that the subject is causing the object to act on its own. New vocabulary words. Tuk. Tuk. Go home. Tachi. Tachi. Arrive here. Kach. Kach. To be deep under or below the Quinawi. Ashnist to Tanskaha. Lashnist here to Stamachins at least. I'm not gonna do now we're going to go over inanimate causative with the t suffix. The root in the model is hia, go. When the t causative is added, the meaning becomes take, which means cause to go. It is important to note here that take in English has several meanings that are distinguished in Klalem. Let's listen to the model sentences before we go over them. You took me. Yeah, tools. Yeah, tools. You folks took me. Yeah, two is high. Yeah, two is high. You took us. Yeah, two is Yeah, two is You folks took us. Yeah, two is high. Yeah, two is high. And I took you. Yeah, two is Yeah, two is We took you. I two is I two I took you folks. Yeah, two must and I. Yeah, two must and I. We took you. Folks. Yeah, two must I. Yeah, two must I. Yeah, two must I. I took him. Yeah, two must I. Yeah, two must I. We took him. Yeah, two must I. Yeah, two must I. You took him? Yeah. 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 Uh, you folks took him. Yeah. I. You took him? Yeah. Yeah. The first yeah doesn't mean the same thing as kshkwet. The word kshkwet means take into possession or take with the hand. The English word grab comes close to the meaning, but it doesn't mean cause to go as yat does. Second, English, the word take 
as in I take you, can mean take along, as in I'll take you to the movies. The sentence, the klalam sounds like I'm taking you to the movies just as a passenger, not as a companion. To get the idea of take as a companion, you have to use the word isawa, a company, with the causative isawa tumats and atsas nunak. I'll take you along to the movies. The set of object suffixes that allow the t suffix is the same as those that appear in the nu non controlled transitive of oh, this chart. You've seen this in the object pronouns video. Um, when both subjects and objects are third person, the passive must be used. Just as with east causative, the final x rays w of the t suffix drops off when any object suffix is added. For example, hiat plus the umus becomes hiat tumus. Remember that the object of east causative is animate or something that is perceived to act on its own. The big difference between east and causative is that east, the object is doing something itself with t. Something is being done to the object. If the object of t causative is inanimate, the meaning involves the idea that the object is acted on directly. Compare, for example, the following two sentences. In each, the root of the main verb is the same, clutch, deep, under, or below. So the first one, I sank the canoe. Chist sin sa Chist sin sa And then the second sentence, I made or carved the canoe deep. Chist sin sa Chist sin sa These both can be literally translated to, I caused the canoe to be deep. In the first sentence, we have the east causative, and the canoe is perceived to be able to do something on its own, such as head to the bottom. In the second sentence, with a t causative, the canoe is perceived as an inanimate object acted on directly. There is a one irregular form of this suffix, and it occurs on a frequently used word, the verb ina, which means to come. When you add the causative to the verb, you get ina, bring, other than the expected, and not that's ungrammatical. Um, do you remember that suffix was introduced way back in the more negative words video? Take a look back at the video if you need to review how to use the awa. For new words, snunuk, snunuk for movies or ghost. Ugh, ugh, wrong. Eat. Eat, sleep, tsum, tsum, go up away from water, and chotney, chotney, move. And now which sounds that one? Oh, it's in my head. What did you just stop doing? Mine's a little hot in it. And that's it for the first half of the cause video. Wait.